Hey folks, I'm here at the workbench, getting ready to do some creative things with the Dremel to a dirt mold. I'll get some of these out a little bit later. I'll show you some of my favorite bits. That cone bit is awesome for shaping. There's a couple ball, ball mills in there. I'm gonna set those out here with the mold that I'm getting ready to, to modify. Um, this one sort of has diamond in sort of a cone. It's not really cone, it's, it's somewhere between cone and cylindrical, but that one really smooths things out. And then different sizes of ball, ball mills. That's a tiny one, if it'll focus on it. Come on, this guy. Just a sphere with teeth. So I'm, I'm showing you this sort of as a preview of, I got a full length, um, I'll get that out later. It's a bigger ball mill, which is really the workhorse of everything I do when I modify mold. Uh, this is somewhat of a preview of a, a video I haven't, I've filmed, but I haven't edited yet. Uh, I've been going pretty hard and heavy with all of the, the bona fide RVR build and that one I think tomorrow is the last uh, last one and it's a comprehensive bow to stern of that build and then the the Sholey but I'm getting I'm home I'm back into doing some tackle crafting and I've already modified a different football head mold um, than this one and I did it with totally different hooks but I'm, I'm looking at the 90 degree hooks and uh, I'm going to modify it to, to make the collar better for tying hair and having the hair really flare out. I'm going to, so, Alan, who, um, Alan Ragland, sent me these, these pins. And they're, <clears throat> they're Teflon. I'm not picking it up real well. I'm going to make it so that fits in here so that I have a bristle guard insert on these. And then this little guy here is the WB-800 and allows me to, to have a little, somewhere right in this area, a little wire that catches the Elaztec. So I'll modify this one. I'm not gonna film that, but I'm giving you a preview. And maybe if there's some tackle crafters out there that have opinions on different 90 degree round bend hooks. I got a lot of different brands here. I will say that by far the stickiest one, my favorite, and I've bought them in bulk before, and I got <clears throat> I got more of these on order um, in bigger sizes. I got I still have a hundred of the the one on, and I'm I'm probably gonna pour some of that today. That one right now is in this uh, eighth ounce, the black one. This this guy right here, um, that one does the work of the hook set for you. <laughs> It is such a sticky little hook. It's this, it's the hook that when I had confidence baits with Roy Kenna that we built our <clears throat> little tube jig head on because it was such a crazy sticky hook. So love the owner 5318, um, but it can be a little brittle. It can bend out. Sometimes that's an advantage. You know, sometimes you actually want a hook to bend out because if you catch it and brush, you can pull it out and it just goes whoop and you get your jig back and you just bend it back in place. It's a strategy. I use it a lot. Um, but then there are other times where, I don't know, are you are you looking for the, the thicker, beefier hooks? Actually, none of these are, are heavy gauge hooks. They're all fairly light wire. Um, I think the thicker one that I got here is the Gamagatsu um, 604 and I got some in 3 aught and 2 aught and I don't know I may I may want to put those on some of the heavier heads because I'm gonna have to really lean on those pretty hard to get a good hook set to get it past that um, 
that bigger, you know, that bigger head size. I don't know. Just kind of mulling through my options here. The other one I think is really intriguing to me. It's somewhere between the Owner 5318 and the Gamakatsu 604, the Victory 105.75. Um, I have that in two different places. I have it here. What is that? In the quarter ounce. I, I like the deepness of from the hook point down to the bend is is a little bit more similar size hook, but it seems like you're gathering. Yeah, you know, that hook's going to go a little deeper. Um, so I have those here on the sixteenth ounce and then on the quarter ounce. Um, I'm probably going to pour pour a couple with that for sure. And now I'm going to do the fifty three eighteen. I probably do some of the heavier ones, heavier you know. Three eighths with the the gammies, probably that three aught. Um, then I got these other ones. Um, these, I know one of them is the Mustad three two seven four six BLN, which is black nickel. Um, not as deep from the hook point to the bend. I you know I, I'm going through this and it's it's just my decision making process of which of these do I go with. Um, and then, and then I got this other kind of unmarked bulk bag that I think is more of these, just in a larger size. So I don't know if you tackle craft or even if you buy jigs and you know what they're made with, um, comment, put something in the comment section, you know, love, love, love the 5318. I'm looking to expand um, I'm also going to look, you know, and I have some of the, the, I don't want to call them fine wire. They're just not the, the, you know, extra strong shank hooks. Um, but the, the victory V lock, I believe in that, that hook shape, which kind of comes steeply batting it back at an angle. And then that point sticks way out or as opposed to a round bend. If you have an opinion on which of these round bends you have the most faith in, Please comment. Please explain your answer, which one you prefer, because I want the insight. I don't know it all. I know I love the Owner 5318, but I'm looking at these others and see different advantages, and I want I want your input. Um, but then the V-Lock, I'm going to get some of those in the, I think, the 60-degree bend on a different mold. That's coming later. Um, that, that's a whole other discussion, 90 versus 60-degree. Um, you can comment on that if you'd like, but that one is going to be something I play around with a little bit later. Um, the V lock in the sixties, but it, in a, in a lighter wire hook than what I've been pouring, but comment on these. Gammy, Gamakatsu 604 owner 5318. Do it. Don't snooze on that. That's a, I, yeah, 10575. I think that's that's probably a good blend of all of these. Um, or the Mustad 32746BLN. Which do you have the most faith in? Comment, let me know. Watch some more tackle crafting stuff. I got another one coming in a while, probably middle to end of next week. Thanks for watching. Time to start grinding.